Okay, una kusha kusha una kabo na mimi ni Mtimu John Fula na mimi ni host for the World Body Better Pass Genting Program. We are the Salon Organization of Greater Manchester and Liverpool come to we. Oh, yeah, this program here yeah, we're not there for give individual advice, we only there for give generalized advice, you know, medical advice in clear way with people and give benefit from we know say but people in our salon we for example not able um, afford medical care you know but at least we can ask you be able to give some advice we will give you we go help you like make decision if you feel some certain way or the experience certain things you go know when for go seek medical advice and also for people away they self naya some of us don't before doctor with them they tell we you know today they don't do the bad news for us and then you know remember or they go see okay there's a bit of good news a bit of bad news all the way out the bad news we need to listen carefully and understand exactly what's in the terms. So I'm saying that we come up before the job doctor, we need to understand what they're going to tell you. But I yeah, we get the opportunity where we can break things down in clear, we all to understand. But also, you know, yeah. our real community, this you will feel a lot more relaxed for later crew to somebody who will ask questions than we you know can normally get for ask. Um, so today, um, now we we don't pass one year already. Last week we celebrate one year. People in sing happy birthday. I uh, have been fun. So we now will not be there. We now miss out. Unfortunately, we will not be recording. So there is not going to be a replay of it. Um, but in our tenth version, um, today our doctor MZ two A now present to we the present stroke. Okay. So before we begin, I just need to go through the team quick and tell our other team. It would look say we will finish by half past seven. Um, we don't listen to our feedback. We don't take them on board, and we we'll can continue for make improvements. So as soon as they see, now we do them on Sunday, and we we'll do them at six o'clock. When I so we be one time for now we do, and as going as we go forward, we will continue for make changes so we we'll be able to do it in the last before do. Okay, okay. So now I will go through the team quick, and um, like I said before, this alone organization like it's a Manchester, and I bring this to everybody. People at the panel, not to the all common at Manchester. No, we get people from Birmingham, we get people from London, we get people from different parts. And you know how they attend this show, not just for Manchester people, they know more we get out for. We get out for any society in the world, as long as you talk Creole or you don't understand Creole, because we even get um, English people now who missed way, they know they talk Creole, but through we own show, then they understand a little bit now. You know, they part of the Creole. Okay. So the first person we'll get at the team, now Dr. Kama, we most of us are Uncle Doc. I'm the leader for the team as well. Now, emergency medicine consultants in Manchester. Now, you get a lot, lot of experience. So, you need the panel. If I get any question, you want to ask if you feel sick, you will add value, you go chip in. Okay. The next person we'll get now, Miss Wugia to Kamara. We now a mental health nurse and our community health um, nurse as well. Our community health visitor. And um, last week, he tell we give you a brief idea as to what in you know in depth you know what in they can normally do what in they work entail. I mean, could now miss last week, could I really miss because all the doctors they be able to explain for themselves what in they do and how they job they work. Okay, but uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Wugia to come out in our presence today. And if you not ask any question, we feel CSK will add value. It will chip in. Okay. Next person again, I'm Mr. Ibrahim MCC, when I qualify social worker and also a mental health advocate. I'm really now boost. Um, if I get any question for us for our mental health or anything about how social workers, then they, you know, how then they, you know, what they can do, how they can do um, to be the least. Mm -hmm. Brother, you can go it depends. Yeah, they ask. Blender, nah, nah. Hello, hello, um, uh, Mr. John Fuller. This is Dave Banks. Um, I'm going to mute people, okay? Hello, hello, Mr. John Fuller. Right, sorry, everybody. Everybody, they on mute now. Okay, and the next person we'll get at the, at the team. Now, Ms. Fatima Kuruma. He didn't miss today. Normally, now he can talk to we, but how we food. In our expertise in nutrition, you know, black people in kind of nutrition. We food where we get now, Africa is very good. But the thing is, most of the time, the reason we could get the benefit out of Anna because we only prepare them well. So Fatima and I can normally show you which kind of food for eat, how for you know how for prepare them, whether the best way we will prepare, we will get the best out of them. So you didn't miss so if I talk anything about diet or something for do with maybe we seek a certain kind of sick, which kind of food for eat and how for prepare them, Fatima would try for help out. Okay. The next person we can normally get now, Dr. Aziza Sise. We instead of getting your own show when I talk with Dr. Sise. Um, I don't know if he deal with it at the, at the moment, but if he come on board, I'll make sure so you know. Um, Dr. Sise is a general practitioner and a GP. We basically they, they can now miss for talk to we about things them, you know, how we for interact with, with GPs them, your own personal doctors, you know, waiting for say to them when you for consult them. 
if they're knowledgeable and the class number again you show so then they can help as well when they get the info presents to it okay okay so today we get my own boss um dr mohammed today um we and i they present to you today as a general practitioner they will give an overview of what i be and what they do when they begin so i'm not going to talk much about it. Okay, and we get Mrs. Isaac Agoba are uh, almost miss them. Uh, Mrs. Goba, apologies. Now the old slide that the user, they use a different laptop. Now I make you say uh, Mrs. Shaka, but now Mrs. Goba. Um, he didn't miss today. Um, now a social worker and also now a mental health nurse. Um, before they show it on, I will make sure say how many this and use a different laptop. But normal laptop I can use for some reason this time for you start just before the show. So now I make her use a different laptop. But Mrs. Goba are very experienced. Um, like I say, he gets your own company as well with the one. So he experienced in social work and also mental health. Um, he gets a lot of experience. So if I ask any questions, we feel say he gave you chip in, he will add your own value. Okay. Next one we'll get now, Mrs. Fakuta Kamara, we are Uncle Dokin Wef, now mental health nurse. Uh, maybe they with me last week. It was a good show last week. The full team, you know, when I miss her last week, when I miss. Uh, but yes, if you do with me last week, I'm not sure if you do with me today, but I will check through the list if you do with me. Um, if you say now mental health nurse, if when I ask any question, we feel CSC cable add value, cable chip in, it will chip in for try for help of answer. Okay. And this one, uh, Miss. Aminata Jalo, when I'm your mama, I recall I'm your mama because my mother is Aminata. I'm a clinical pharmacist. Your job basically is to teach me, you know, how to take medicine, how to look after medicine, when to take medicine, when not to take them, you know. Sometimes day you can miss your medication, the time for take you can miss them. Sometimes, you know, when you miss them, you know, you're not sure what you do, you know. And I'm not tonight, you normally explain to we advise we, you know, how to take medicine. And we get medicine, not say because you work for me, you get for prescribe and for your neighbor. You know, then we'll give that advice. We think it be the advantage and disadvantages, you know, when we can do that thing for take medicine, they go get to somebody, you know, know what that person in your health background, you know, normal not that anything they can do. Okay. The last one on the list, now myself, like I said before, I'm in Timo John Fuller, uh being a senior business IT consultant. Um, and all that is show for provide medical advice. I only they ask for ensure say they book my so it will bring the show to una, uh, uninterrupted. So now I don't talk Boku. I bet you know, don't talk for any course for us. We are doing our own natural professional. We are Dr. Mohammed today. We will take on through the session today. Dr. Today, when you ready, sir? Hey, Tim, I'm sorry. Make I just digress a small bit. Sorry. Yeah, guys, sir. Yeah, I, uh, everybody, welcome. Thank you so much, and for being with us. Uh, but I'm exceptionally happy that we, we, we get amongst me another clinician we possibly potentially go join with. Uh, so please, when I help me for welcome Dr. Christian Bell, uh, probably we'll get for a talk to her later when we do the fielding of the uh, questions and answers. But thank you so much and welcome to the show, Dr. Bell. So I hand you over to Dr. Toure. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, attending yet another program, another session with uh, Well Body Better Pass Gentry. Um, and um, Mr. Fulado introduced we, I mean, uh, Dr. Toure, uh, a general practitioner. But prior to that, uh, I do a bit of um, neurosurgery, that uh, surgery for the brain, and also orthopedic surgery and that's uh, and the surgeons for for bone and joint business but now are they in full fledged general practice so um hopefully we they with it today we they present uh, a topic stroke ti way i believe not a common topic um but a pretty long as well so um i will just start straight away Okay, before um, I start, I would like for like um, um, ask a question to everybody. No right or wrong answer into this. Um, I would just want to ask people them um, when they say when you hear the word stroke, waiting really they come now your mind. You know, if people in cable answer for me, that will be fine. Anybody, anybody can just give in. 
his suggestion with him in. Okay. Another way they make you uh, more or less disabled. With your legs, they're not the move, your hand, they're not the move fine. You they disfigure your face. Then uh, it, it, it add more to your age, I believe. And I assume they share more. Brilliant. That's good. Any other suggestion? When you are a stroke, waiting really they come now your mind. Mm. You need able to look after yourself anymore. Good. As much as you want. Like we've been there today, we will look after yourself. Good. Good. Okay. Okay, so what do we think uh, about the, the age limit? Which group of people then will get stroke? Any suggestion? If you say nah, the people that are more with me, we may get experience with, and I mean, not cramo, but the people that we get experience with, they get, where they get stroke. Now, people that don't pass middle age because it paralyzes them. The one that we don't see mostly, now people that are in them uh, late early 50s or late 50s and even beyond. Okay, good suggestion. Any other suggestion? Any age. age. Any age. Any age? Yeah, any yeah. age, yeah. Yeah, okay. No age limits. No age limits, brilliant, okay. So so today we really can talk about uh, just an overview, now the go ahead, uh, because there's quite a, a lot of things for discuss really. Uh, we just talk waiting at stroke, waiting at things that we get for lookout for when you, you know, we go make alert you for think of stroke, uh, how we, then they treat them in our hospital. And also we talk about stroke na pikine. You know, people, I, I mean, some people in suggest say any age, I agree, any age, but when they get stroke, even from pikine inside my mind, they get stroke, but we'll know as, as we go about along. And also, um, you know, way person they live with stroke, what it really um, it mean. So now with a, um, just an overview of um, stroke in the UK, I mean, we'll get more stuff of that data in the UK. Uh, 1.2 million people in the UK, they get stroke. They live, with, they live with stroke basically in the UK. And um, people then they get a first stroke or recurrent stroke in a year in England, now like 110,000 people. 11% of them people that they when they get a first stroke, they die. TIA, with a transient ischemic attack, then call a mini stroke. 50 out of 100,000 people in the UK, they get them. Now, worldwide, globally, according to WHO, um, stroke, of course, like cardiovascular accident, mm -hmm. stroke now the second leading cause of death worldwide and the cause of disability, like um, Cam Robbie say, stroke now they make somebody paralyzed a disabled and of course now a leading cause of dementia and depression as well in the low income country the developing countries they found out say 70 percent of the stroke in the whole world they happen at the developing countries and the middle uh, uh, low and middle uh, income countries and this figure don't double in the last four decades in the last 40 years it don't double and then also find out WHO find out say Fifth, uh, the people that within the low income countries, the age of onset where the most people they get stroke, they be 15 years earlier than the people away in a high income countries. And um, as we go along, we will explain the different type of stroke. One of them now, when they call hemorrhagic stroke, when I bleed, 34% of you know the stroke when I bleed, they happen at the low income countries them as opposed to in the high, in the developed world, uh, now like 15% only they be hemorrhagic, where this is more dangerous than, um, you know, you know that, that, than the, the ischemic one. And um, um, of the people who didn't get stroke in the developing countries, 84% of them, they die in, the, in, in three years time, you know, as opposed to only 16% of people eh, we get stroke in the developed world, they get you know, they, they die in three years time. Most of them, they live up to a really long high age if uh, despite the stroke couldn't get, mainly due to the high medical facilities were available. And also in the low income countries or the developing world, 
um, you know, the people that mostly they affected in the final say people that they, you know, that them productive age, the age where you know say this now you know, the breadwinner of the family, now they look after the family, which is why this topic we choose them and this topic be a very important topic. Now, the why this they happen as I don't mention more bleeding type of stroke, young people, the high death rates in the developing countries. WHO not find out the reason it. We don't know the reason why yet. Um, so still studies they go regarding that. So now when we say stroke, what it really come to mind? 999, call 999. Oh, this is not life threatening something. This is not an, an emergency and indeed it's a medical emergency. So the sooner we act, the better it is for the person. And so why is it so? Now, if you take the brain, this is not the human brain, it divides into two parts. This brain, nine are the, the, the key for a human being. Now they send the signals to every single thing where they happen at the human being. Move for, for let you move your hand, for let you you sing, for let you 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 remember something, for let you you go jog, for let you enjoy things, everything they communicate from the brain. And the brain get two parts. You get the right part and the left part. If you divide them, and you mostly get the dominant part. Like for instance, if you want to move your right hand, you know the left part of the of your of your brain and you control that, that, that action there. Or if you want to use your left hand and the right part of your brain, ninety you control that. So then the, you know you have the dominant part of the brain basically. So this brain is a very important structure, and so because it be very important, it need forget constant supply of energy, constant supply of oxygen, constant supply of energy. So this energy, they come from the blood, okay? Now, if you take the heart, the heart, they beat and send the blood to the brain. It goes through some um, um, tubes, they would call carotid artery, and then they supply the brain. So anything will happen in that pathway for let oxygen or let um, um, energy reach the brain, it affects the brain. And the brain being is very sensitive that just a single minute, every minute count, every minute when blood supply go to the brain, reduce, it damage the brain. So which is why stroke, an emergency, na, uh, uh, something we need for deal with immediately. You no need for it tomorrow, okay? Now, if, as I don't talk, say the carotid artery, this one and they supply, um, supply um, blood to the brain. If say you get blockage of that carotid artery, it, that blockage day or something um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, come off from this carotid artery, it I would call an emboli or say a bolo bolo or whatever it is, come off from there, it travel through, go to the brain and it block that part of the brain. The blood supply not they reach, and that part of the brain, they begin to die. They begin to die until and unless they clear that um, and blockage day. Now in TIA, that blockage day, it is clear easily, quickly before, you know, maybe one hour, two hours or something, uh, um, I mean, in less than 24 hours. So when you see, I mean, the what thing they cause this blockage, mainly in the carotid artery, the high cholesterol food, we don't talk about that a lot, the high cholesterol food, you know, they eat, you know, people they make and cook rest. If you put pamai in it for draw, if you not draw, you know, go feel say, do eat pamai or other um, um, form of food the way they increase the cholesterol level. Then they come, then fold up the blood, ves bl blood vessel and, and then they, they reduce the blood supply. And some of them, that cholesterol, they, they, they flick up, it turn like emboli, it go, it go now the brain and it go cause problem. So that, that day, now one of the, 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 the pathophysiology, basically why people in the get um, um, TIA or stroke. TIA means say uh, the transient ischemic attack, this problem would happen with the brain within one hour, two hours, or less than 24 hours, it don't settle. So you see some man, they get the symptoms of stroke. I say, oh, but fine now, nothing will do me, like no need for do anything. So, so, so that not the reason, because the blood supply don't go to the brain, then you fine. If you go more than 24 hours, then in colon stroke, um, because then that means say the, that part of the brain are almost damaged. So um, as you say, less than more than 24 hours than a, than a stroke, less than 24 hours than a TIA. 
So this now they happen in TIA, the blockage day, but the blockage they clear easily. Uh, just another uh, explanation. You see the blockage here in TIA, the, the blockage day, but not complete. So the blood supply, they go. So at least the brain, they get some oxygen, they get some food, some energy. As opposed to stroke, when are due to a blockage, no energy, no nothing, they go. Everything completely blocked up. So you have two types of stroke. You get the stroke when are due to blockage, and you get stroke when are due to bleeding, when you call a hemorrhage or hemorrhagic stroke. Nine of these. So now this one, I'll be the talk in the initial stage, say, a, a common in the developing country, and um, 35% of her, you know, very common. So this kind of, for say, you get bleeding. Normally it can happen if you say this blood vessel, some people are naturally out there, they, they, in a family, then get what they call a new reason, the blood in vessel inside the brain, they swell up. And then they can block, it can, can, can bust out and cause bleeding. Then a one common reason we can make people and they get hemorrhagic stroke. And apart from hypertension and other two get for talk about in, in equals. But I mean, in, in the developing world, you get more people there than usual where they get this type of uh, um, stroke when they're bleeding. So this is not just the two difference uh, we'll show. So when, when, the, when the, the blood supply don't reduce now the brain, if you take a cross section of the brain, now this they happen. Normally it's supposed to be pink and well good, but if you see the, the changing color, means say that part of the brain don't die. So if that part of the brain die, the part where it is supply, if now the, the part of the brain where they deal with your speech, it they make your speech they go bad. If now the part of the um, brain where they make you able to move your leg or your arm, that part they need to be function again. So any pathway affect another that, that symptom, the another sign that the person they, they present with. What so let's now just listen to this uh, um, pronoun. This uh, um, video, they just give an overview of which I don't talk just now. What is a stroke? A stroke is when something goes wrong inside our brain. Your brain is inside your head. It is the really clever part of your body. It helps you to think, talk, move and jump. Your brain controls everything you do, a bit like a car's engine. Different parts of the brain do different things. The brain has two sides and they control the opposite side of your body. For example, if you lift your left arm, the right side of your brain is making it happen. You can see and feel your brain working all the time when you wiggle your fingers, blow a kiss, point your toes, or even sing a song. The brain needs oxygen and energy to work well, a bit like how a garden needs water. Your brain gets energy from your blood, which is pumped up from your heart. It goes up to the brain through tubes called arteries and veins. They are a bit like a network of roads leading up to a big city, your brain. So what is a stroke? There might be a blockage or a leak in the tubes leading to your brain. If this happens, your brain is not getting enough blood and it won't get enough energy or oxygen. When this happens, you have a stroke. A bit like if a car engine cannot get enough petrol. The part of your brain that is not getting enough energy and oxygen will find it hard to work. If it is the talking part of your brain, it may be hard to get the words out. If it is the moving part of your brain, it may be hard to move your arm or leg. Okay, so uh, I'm sure this um, video don't explain to we waiting a stroke, and so we can't talk about now the symptoms sign them. Normally, uh, I mean, when people and see this slide, when they say fast, act fast, um, people, most people they know about them. Waiting it mean means like wait and say if the, the waiting the video they tell we say the part of the brain will be affected. So if you notice, say you face one side of the face, just look this woman in the face one side of your face, they droop, okay? Now, the face normally gets muscles. Everybody in face get muscle. When the muscle, link, they, when one smile, the muscle and they contract, like you smile now. Yeah. But yeah, if the muscle only really contract now, this woman on right side, it is just the droop in the left, like so. Then you see the mouth, they bend now on side. So that's the show say, ah, something on the happen. 
the part of the brain where they supply this, um, uh, um, the muscle on this side don't look, get problem. Then again, then a banana the face. Then the other thing, a harm. If you're able for, one for moving on, like this small one for moving on, enable for moving on. That should say the part of the brain where they supply that, that, that and they don't get problem. Then I sign uh, and for sure say, oh, we need for think, waiting what happen as na, 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 na stroke don't they happen. Then you look about its speech. You ask the person for say something, any, any word, you don't need for say sky is blue, just say, let, let's say something. They say, and they see say in speech, they become slurred. You need able for talk like I be the normal. And so when this happen, you need for call 111-999. And some people in the game even terrible headache. So this one, I know the first signs they wouldn't be no, but there are more signs to it than this. And somebody no need forget all the signs there for lay you alert. The person say this is not a stroke or TIA you don't get. Now, now the 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 the, the new um, the signs that we people info know about now this would they say be fast. Okay, we don't talk about the fast. The face, the droop, you are unable for move your speech, and you know, and the T can be terrible headache. Now, this means a sudden, all the symptoms they are not symptoms that they happen suddenly. Okay, you just see don't almost suddenly you can get this serious headache and say the headache now behind your head. Sometimes behind your head, they call it like thunderclap headache. Wait. That headache, they know one day you get that kind of headache before. That's why I let you say that a stroke or something when they happen in your brain. Okay. And the other thing where they happen is people and they get balance problem in not they able for balance. You know, it's suddenly just in coordination, they able for move, it, it, it become affected. And other symptoms with some test man and then that only one they get an like eye problem. Okay. Wherein you, you just they suddenly lost your sight. Right. So man, it is see like, the the site um you they see like with the curtains they drop down you know they call land the, the medical town for and they call it amurosis fugax then they more common with people when they get tia you just they see suddenly like say the curtains they go down your eyes one part of your eye or both eyes just just you know lost your vision that not say science say either tia or stroke when they come even if you resolve then they resolve after one hour, two hour, you still need for seek medical help immediately, or you see a gonna hospital or AN immediately when this happened. So these are the common symptoms the way they happen. Now, for uh, man and woman, you get uh, um, 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 the most similar, but for woman, you get other symptoms that we can happen. You can see generally just weak. I mean, we know, uh, uh, and fatigue, we know fatigue and weakness is more common with women and because especially women with it in a reproductive age where it is men's, uh, you know, because of the anemia, the tire, not to that can tire the name women, you know, suddenly, then all the symptoms that they happen, are seem to they happen suddenly. You know, not to still we don't happen for for months and months and months. You think say we get I say oh me I just say tired, you know, be saying a stroke I don't get. Not to Daniel they talk. Thing the way happen suddenly, and then it feel sick. Suddenly begin feel sick or being sick, or you just confuse your memory. Then thing and if somebody they near you, you notice there any of them symptoms there, any of them sign there, and the person if you able for call nine nine nine. You call 999 or you call the person GP for let you seek attention immediately because time is of an essence here. The earlier they clear the blockage, the better it is for the person. The person will get TIA, they book it, they clear for himself within uh, uh, one hour, two hours, or less than 24 hours. The brain they get reperfusion, the brain they get uh, um, uh, energy, and the person will be able to continue a normal um, and, and, and procedure and a normal thing activities. However, if this don't happen, no means it not get for happen again. There is a chance that once that happen, a possible say can happen again. So for that reason, you need for seek medical help. Now, when are the risk factors? The risk the way people can get. Now, some of the risks there, you don't get nothing for do about them. I mean, you, you just get I just get and things like age, you know. Uh, I mean, like like uh, and Kamobi say about the fifties or so. Yeah, we know seen that then they, but person they, they get them from any age. Okay, because of your age, you predispose to getting stroke. Okay, now for a family, in the family again, some people there in the family, strokes, heart attacks are very common. So because of that, you high chance of you getting stroke. And 
ethnicity, you can't do anything about it. You being an Afro-Caribbean or South Asian, the high chance say it gets uh, 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 um, you know, stroke very high in, in, in these communities. And um, part of the reason is because of maybe the high blood pressure or the diabetes. I mean, a high blood pressure, uh, don't talk about them, um, uh, talk, you know, things like salt, they increase your blood pressure. So, I mean, this that you not get for change because of your ethnicity, the chance you go high for stroke, for leg and stroke, you know, and once somebody don't get one stroke, or one TIA, the chance they say another one can come. Okay. Now the things that we you able to do for modify this for stop you from getting stroke, you know, things like high blood pressure. If you control the high blood pressure, it will reduce that risk. Day. Cholesterol, the type of food you eat, you know, the if, if you look into them, it will reduce the chance of you getting stroke or TIA. And things like irregular heartbeat. If you meet your doctor or your GP, medication they do in the gym, where they try to bring the heartbeat into rhythm. We go make, because that when they beat the heart, not the beat into rhythm, then they cause the high chance of clots forming, okay? And diabetes, a treatable only if you want to work with a specialist uh, in this regard. Things like smoking and alcohol, all they increase the chance of getting stroke. Overweight. We can't emphasize it enough that exercise alone, they go a lot for help you, your health in every shape or form. Of course, stress, we know the stressful situation again, are all landed they increase the chance of getting stroke. How did they diagnose this when you go now na, 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 na hospital? When you get this, you alert, you know, ambulance, first you get for tell the ambulance, wait, when the ambulance, they can tell the ambulance crew what you the suspect. Or straight away, once you tell them and say, oh, this person I get then face symptoms they will be don't talk. No matter how the ambulance can then go, then go, then go prioritize you, you call for let the ambulance come. And when they can straight, then go know the medication and the gear. And as as the ambulance the day can meet you, the ambulance could meet you. Then we don't call the hospital, they don't alert them waiting and think and how the hospital they receive you. So waiting and they do way go now the hospital, then they take history, then they take your story, how this come about. Or if you're able to talk, somebody will be near you. He will be there near you when they happen. He explain. Then, then they examine you. Then they take your heartbeat. Then they take your rhythm. Why then they do take your heartbeat and rhythm? And then for sure, if you get irregular heart something, I know predisposed to you getting what you get. So and then stay out in the controller. Then they take your blood for check your cholesterol level, for check your sugar level as well. And 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 so within within an hour we arrive now hospital then they do scan your brain because that's the most common thing where they give a decision as to how they for treat this as we don't talk before you get two type of stroke okay you get the one when I do to bleed and you don't need to clot so the treatment of them is tricky and different um, uh, again, then they check your heartbeat, then, then they do a scan, a jelly scan of that carotid, that actual, they talk that you where they supply blood, go to your brain, and they, then they scan them and see if, if a fraud, if any problem, they will, they inside them. And even when they examine you, if you go to a doctor using stethoscope and they listen to your heart, they you see put on your neck. Now that thing that you can let for, one for listening to, then call and carotid brewery for listening to the, you know, the sound of the, of the blood really go through this artery for see if, 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 a, a, um, if it don't fold up enough for cause you a uh, problem. Then, so then, then they do a, a jelly scan of your heart again for see if there's any problem with your heart. So we know that people that we get stroke, the most common thing that they begin get a swallowing problem. So then they give a swallowing test, then they give what water for sip and see if you able, if you able for sip that water. Based on that, then we know if the medication then they give them for put them through your vein, or then they give a tube, what they call it, so that street tube, where they put through your nose, go to your night gut, now your stomach, for letting go they pass the, uh, your food and medicine day. Because if they not do so, you go you, you go get a pneumonia, aspiration with that, and then go, go lead to, 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 to more consequences. So for TIA, we will not say a partial or mini stroke. The treatment to then the gee, you know, uh, um, basically then, then they give you aspirin for help for dissolve the clot. For somebody we get ischemic stroke, when now complete blockage, 
within four and a half hours, this is why time is of essence here. Within four and a half hours, the Gewa medication they get called Artiplase. Okay, that Artiplase they can cause bleeding. So now make the they give to somebody way uh, the young stroke not due to bleeding. So then we don't do scan force and we say this stroke not to bleeding cause them na, na blockage. That medication and forget within four and a half hours. If that four and a half hours pass, uh, they hardly give give that medication day. So which is which is why it's very important straight away for a lot uh, uh, um, uh, medical personnel. Okay, and and the other thing they need to do for prevent the clots now they give the aspirin, clopidogrel, the medication day for break down the clots. Okay, and if somebody say it gets a regular heartbeat plus it don't get this kind of stroke, then they give out that medication them. We then call them warfarin or the apixaban medication, the way they help on long run for stop clots forming. The other thing we then they do, if then they give this medication, you know, so to enable for, for clear the blockage, then they do surgical procedure, we then call thrombectomy. That basically, what they do in this, then they take um, a, a device where they put in a groin. Get one artery, uh, what they call it femoral artery or, or femoral vein. It go through the, it go, the, it go right up to the brain and try for catch this clot. Manually, either a manually remove them or then suck them up. They either suck the clot up or they manually draw the clot up for clear the blockage. And all of this need the need for doing within a specific time, at least six hours for letting go, within six hours for letting go do the thrombectomy. You know, so if, if they want for pro and prolong them, say between six hours to 24 hours, it means say either they don't do scan and no say yes, then we go for salvage the brain. If not, they no go do them. So this is another reason why not in medical emergency, in need straight away for be a lot um, in, 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 in the hospital or your medical personnel. Um, the other thing they can do is um, for them people that we then get them blockage through that actual what we talk about, they can do an operation. When they do operation through your neck, okay, then they make a cut through the neck for access that artery day and manually try for remove this bolo bolo, the cholesterol, the fat who don't they eat now. You see where they set to now, the need for pull and for clear the blockage. Now, if this blockage, they a certain percentage, okay, when they for do this surgery, if they a certain percentage, say 70%, I mean, according to, I mean, I mean, to studies, more than 70%, nine they can go ahead and do this operation. But if they less than that, and they check the other, because there are two of them, and they check the other one, a patent, they can left them and wait, because each of them procedure there, then get their own complications as well. Now, how we go about for treat? And the person, after they don't do all the surgical procedures, then they wait and get for do, and they try to control the blood pressure. And controlling the blood pressure, you need to forget a target. If you na possibly na high blood pressure, somebody uh, gets stroke or TIA, the blood pressure target for be 130 or less. Than at the top number, we call an systolic. If na possibly we don't get that, that's thing what we don't show before. Um, um, this this procedure um, that's thing what we don't show before about the um, blockage. If it gets this blockage now, both of the two arteries them in blood pressure target they become higher because when you get that blockage, blood supply at the brain they less. If they go reduce and too much again, it they get less or less blood supply. So the need for target within one forty and one fifty. So the other thing we're going we'll to do, you control your cholesterol. And of course, we can't emphasize about lifestyle, you know, exercise, stop smoking, eat healthy. I mean, uh, we know uh, um, we know most people elect salt, right? Um, most people elect salt. Uh, most people eat um, takeaway food, the KFC. KFC itself gets lots of salt. And on top of this, on my way, you don't take the KFC. They go take more salt back, you add on top of them. Or even when they don't cook your food, if food go get salt, it they go add another salt into it. That salt they increase your blood pressure, and the too much fat when they eat, they cause them blockage there in your tubes, then in your body. And if somebody gets stroke or TIA, you need to remember say you know for drive, within one month you know for drive. And if you na 
HGV driver, you drive them truck or anything, they, within six months or so, or even some years, five years or 10 years, depend on your condition, you know, they drive. So just be aware of this. And for hemorrhagic stroke, within when somebody gets that bleed, one, they want for controlling blood pressure. Two, if the person will take blood thinning medication, they stop her immediately. And the next thing they do, they do what they call craniotomy because now bleeding inside the brain, if they do the scan and see say this bleeding too much, it press on the part other organs in the brain, then they do a craniotomy procedure where then they try for relieve this uh, 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 um, 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 bl blood clots we don't do inside your brain. Okay. How did they do the craniotomy? Like you get this bleeding, the, the, if they take a scan, the scan they show how much all this area, this a red area, and I decide we don't, 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 don't uh, get blood. So this area now, because this, this colony they expand, it push the other structures them away, and it cause you, it, 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 it cause the breathing, the heartbeat, all other things of, your, of, of, your, of, of the person in, in vital function, they become high. So what then they do, when they do, this procedure where then they, when they take the skull, they cut this part of the skull and remove this clot here. Now, this now the most the emergency children can do with the help for salvage the brain. Now, for somebody with they, now a medical professional in the developing world, they no get facilities to learn in there. So the difficulties where they get now, for there, you 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 give, give somebody blood thinning medication or or you know give blood thinning medication the decision decision depend on the scan now ct scan not readily available in most developing countries and even if they get for travel really far for go get them so the, now the difficulty is with the health professionals in there is waiting you for do now so this now the, some of the difficulties them where if they practice now a developing world where some of them facilities are not available. This now the difficulty or difficult decision they need for make, and also which big targets you get for put this post here because you don't know if na bleeding or if na um, uh, if na blockage. Now you know they know based on the clinical science alone only CT scan mainly now they show you the thing. So if you're not available, it become more difficult. See so. Uh, I mean, for uh, colleagues that really work, you know, in a developing country, the patient and for realize say, then they in a difficult situation for make a decision really for help them. You see, and also after when somebody don't get a stroke, as we get for talk in new course, the chance most of the thing are rehabilitation. Then rehabilitation services then they they're not available in in the developing country. If then they they're very sketchy and you get for it costs so much for they like, getting to them. So means the key here is prevention. Prevention, prevention, prevention. So, and, and in this part of the world, again, the, the preventive medicine in all today, people are just the do it in a field for do, you know, even 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 more developing or non-developing country, people are just the do it in a field for do, they know they look after the health, so that they make it even more difficult. Now, for, for picking them, as we don't talk, Picking and they get stroke, 400 children in the UK, according to the Stroke Society, then they get, you know, then they get a, a, a stroke every year. Now, this na age between 28, 29 days with them born to 18 years. Right. And the other thing, again, picking from where it is inside my mind, Bele, up to 28 days where you don't born, itself can get stroke. How this they happen? So mango surprise. Why did why this 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 they happen? It can be from the mama. So because some mama, so mama then they then get high predisposition for form clots. You know, a condition we then call antiphospholipid syndrome, wherein then people will get um, then they get miscarriages. Because a high tendency for let it form clots, and these clots where it they form, they go through, you know, the the what, the, what, what organ we then call the placenta, we surround the picking, when and this give nutrition to the picking, it can escape from the it go to the picking, it go to the picking in brain. And then if it inside in my mind, belay, so it, 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 it die day, day, then it get miscarriage. So if this happened less than 24 weeks, 20, less than 24 weeks, 
of gestation or pregnancy, it again miscarriage. So I'm thinking that if it happen after that, it will get the picking, but the picking, not the big, big picking, it is small for an age, or either it be say, it, 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 it get premature uh, 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 um, delivery, or it be say, the picking, the, uh, the mommy they get what they call preeclampsia, all the conditions in it, they make the mommy in the getter. Then other conditions they call abrocho placenta, where in the, the placenta, this area, the, the, the thing will cover the picking, it is separate from the womb. All the things and they happen because the mommy get predisposition for forming clots. So if you now notice uh, some people, woman they wouldn't get belly, then they give them aspirin. From the moment, if the woman get this condition, from the moment it get belly, then they get aspirin. And from the moment when they do a scan, they notice the picking, it don't begin, it has not begin beat. That's ending in the gear, blood thinning medication up until 34 weeks. Of pregnancy, so so this one has so then we're able for treat. I mean, help the picky with the inside in my mind in belly, and and apart from that form clot, other condition that they back way predisposed to either the picking or the mommy, what can make them the form form clots. Now, the the thing we don't uh, um the causes you know almost similar um to adults, but the thing is um um. In, in picking them, the most common things they can be say from the heart, they get a regular, you know, the heart problem, either the valve of the heart or the heart itself, abnormal structure of the heart. And then picking away, they get sickle cell. We don't talk about sickle cell here before. Then get high predisposition, you know, forget and then condition in day. And in 10% of cases, we don't know, you see. Um, but the picking them, they know they get just one risk factor. You know they get more than one risk factor before they get then and uh, get stroke. The way again the signs them is similar to adult, but picking and they get more headache or seizures. You know fits. You know uh, uh, for picking them, and again the that way they diagnose them is similar um, um, to the adult person, and and again as I mentioned they give aspirin to the mama, and if picking get them when a sickle cell then they give them blood transfusion. And they need to help. But the good news is because they picking in brain, they develop, then they, they help the picking for let it recover. As opposed to the elderly person in, in young condition, if, if that time don't pass, it has for reverse. So the complication way they get in the early stage, now infection. Infection because some in swallowing get problem, a, a, a the food way they eat, they come up and they go to the food bar, they go to the lungs, from the food pipe, you go, you go to the lungs, then it cause aspiration pneumonia. And because they able to move the legs them, and then they get pressure sores, where they cause cellulitis, and then they get infection again from the wee, wee side. And blood clots common in the lungs or in, in, or in the legs, this night can cause early death for people who then get stroke. And the, the, after that, the long-term condition there, we know about mobility, you know, like how we talk at the initial stage, in it able for move, the, 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 the muscle and it becomes and stiff, in it able for move much. So you need physiotherapies and occupational therapies where they come for help the person for adapt. Just the complications alone of stroke, it affects the whole part of human being. We can spend a whole day for just talk all the com complications of stroke. So I'll just go through this briefly because every organ, in your body can be affected with stroke. See, um, and, and the other thing that affects people um, is that um, in able for controlling we, in able for control in, in, in poo. So it just, they go, you know, this, they cause so much stress to the care of this person and the person even in confidence and self-esteem. You know, if in a possible way, they live proudly, they do things on you, then suddenly in able for do that thing and they just imagine, just take a think and see what thing really go happen. You know how then it affects your self esteem and your confidence. See, joint pain very common. Then shoulder they become stiff. Uh, and so they get arthritis, tiredness because the anxiety, the breathing problems, and the medication they the give it is disturbing sleep. So it become tired and in difficult. Then swallowing again they become affected. So either you be swallowing and either they get a tube or then get a tube when they pass through the skin, what they call gastrostomy tube, where they go inside the, uh, um, where they go inside your stomach directly for getting food. So all dentin and the, the pressure sores, your vision problem, dementia, vascular dementia, I don't talk about that, are the most 
common um, cause of um, a, 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 a stroke, you know, vascular dementia, the most common uh, and thing where they happen with people that we get stroke. And, and as we don't talk before, vascular dementia, not unlike the other dementia, the way you could give medication, medication, this one, you know, you know, you know, reversible. And even vascular dementia, it's a, dementia itself, no reversible. So how do you help the people them? Sometimes they do, if you get diary, for write the task the way they do, and things them for help and for able to remember things them. See, so now a very difficult thing when somebody will be done healthy, they walk about suddenly unable for do things on your own. It get for depend on people them, you know, it get really, really difficult. So one in 12 people then they move go na, na care home because of stroke. See, and, and speech problem, you know, so the for letting initiate the speech, a difficult for let you even understand and read and write, a difficult, you know, and, and because sometimes the muscle with the way they with the help you for move for for move your mouth, forget the speech, they are affected. Sometimes the part of the brain where they allow you for let you initiate movement, it, it be, become affected. So you get speech problem, and of course. If you get stroke uh, as a healthy person, you know, the breadwinner, just imagine what will happen with the finances. Well, I don't know of people away now, healthy young people in the past, can tell you that na, na fita, some man, na, na, na engineer, or a uh, uh, builder, na the head of the building company, suddenly the, the following day, you know, must say, oh, this man don't get stroke, enable move your hand, enable move your foot. How it will be for going site for go do in building project for let like, able surviving people eh? just imagine how then they go affect so which is why then program out the dorm for let people eh, know now you just see this slide from head to toe everywhere it eh, become affected now the long term management of this now basically mainly support if you see that false phase we don't talk about if you see don't pass now for support the person no more now. And so how the community, the app in the UK, you know, how the council, they help for letting you support you and they give you uh, um, the local authority, they do assessment now your home and for see which support you need. And for try, after you don't post, you don't get stroke. And they come back for land things them like we did. For let it able for be independent. So man will be able for be independent in need for gonna care home. And we're gonna care home, it get cost. So the cost, for the council, they help you if your income is less than twenty-three thousand. Then they help you in your cost of you of, of you you know day in a care home or other uh, um, area we want for day. Now um, these are put them a, a number there. If somebody want to use them for a call for you know get more support uh, and more understanding, it will it will be good for I can take the number the numbers there. And again, at age go, you will get forget benefits. Where you can, where the council, where you can talk to to, to job center, or you talk to your council, where they can show you which benefits you, you you will be exposed to, um, and because of the cost, you know the NHS um, flat uh, rate support where they can give for somebody within a nursing home for per week, they can give like hundred and fifty eight pounds a week for help you support if you're in a nursing home or a care a, a care home. See then, but everybody, regardless of your finances, the the uh, government or the council supposed to help you for um, um, get some certain other thing that will for adapt you for label living at home if the thing that they less than one thousand pounds. So it's not the things then things like um, handrail, you know, for your bathroom, intercom now your house, wheelchair, all in things then they you, you get right to them. Now you right as if they you know a taxpayer in the UK. Now you right for getting them. They if not suffer in silence. If you know somebody will get stroke, we need them in there. You can call the authority. Let them work, let, let them go get access to them in there. So now, as we can see, um, we not go end this without say, saying prevention is really better than cure. You know, uh, just a pound of you know prevention better than millions of uh, millions of pounds of cure you know so eat healthy reduce the amount of salt all they eat um, do regular exercise avoid smoking and uh, alcohol if you're not able for stop alcohol but reduce until at least 14 units a week and see you to gp or your doctor all the time for let you go manage your blood pressure your cholesterol and no say, if you don't get stroke, 
the chance they say a possibility say get for happen so you get for be more vigilant so with this one we go as we can say health in well body better past gentry health is wealth so i'll tell you now all thank you for listening to me um okay open the floor now for questions and answering Thank you very much, Doctor Today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, wow, everybody quiet. That's good. Um, because we'll be getting a bit noisy. All right, now, now, now the time for noise. Now, um, if you ask question, you either use the virtual hand, you know, within um, 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 Zoom, then get a virtual hand. You can ace them up, or if you ace them up physically, and I they go around and see you, then I will come to you. Yes, Mr. Kalmar, I can't tell you in a bit, but give me one minute. Somebody ask a question, Dr. Tugay. Mm -hmm. um, they say, in a pediatrician, they say, if someone suddenly develops gibberish speech, but, all, but otherwise, well, no weakness of limbs at the age of 90, um, 91. If you look at the chat, you can see them. Yes, and that person, they need for contact uh, uh, 999 straight away. Now, the, the symptoms that you don't need to forget all the symptoms them of stroke for say this not stroke, right? If just just your speech now happen and it happens suddenly, this is not the key thing. You need for contact a hospital straight away. You don't need for be get limb, limb weakness or all the symptoms, just speech problem. And some people in the get like I mentioned, TIA, where not just in the in why eye, now they it just get blur vision. It can be seen amyrosis fugax, natia, you don't get then within one hour, within a few minutes, you don't settle. In need for see a doctor, in need for, for seek medical help with that. So, 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 as long as you get one of their symptoms, then you no need to forget all. In need for seek medical help. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Tugi. Hopefully, the next question I'll go palm off to um, Uncle Doc while he's safety, at least um, um, gain your voice. Lay your voice, not can finish. Yes, <laughs> 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 hey, Mr. Kalmo, Mr. Dabo. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fuller. Oh, Dr. Sri, thanks very much for this eye-opening thing. This, you don't know, really, uh, uh, me, I, I give you a lot of insight into what thing, not the differences between the TIA and the stroke itself. But I will just get one or not two questions. They may not be directly relevant, but sometimes maybe be able to tell you. You know, when they do that operation, they don't remove the clot, we call cremology or something. When they remove the clot, then can when they can do that operation, the person can get back in life and it will get himself back to form again. Then I want if he then do that kind of operation, and because the way I see from that diagram, it appears like then they then they then they open the arteries or the vein them for remove the clot. Then he will still have for another person to get in life back to normal. And the other one, where they say for the visit to GP regularly, how often if you do on uh, the red line for them can tear more like we on medications for high blood pressure, cholesterol, and other thing them. And you the advice for let people them with the see them GP them regularly. How often you go for the C G P in that case for let them will check. Because I'm telling them can tell you say let you buy the pressure machine itself. And the pressure machine, the blood pressure machine, not to all man able or you know can be as accurate as you want them. You know, the reading then can be confusing. The cholesterol you pass you go and go do blood test physically then tell you if it is if it's normal or it is high or it is because we don't depend the tablet them for a while i just want to know if you will give me an idea as to how often after they contact me gp in case i need for get clarity on them then they thank you sir so um, um regarding visiting your gp at least annually every year if you go let and do what they call mot head to toe check and then um, based on your clinical situation, it can stay on six monthly or the, the GP go there with you based on your own other comorbidities. It will say, say, let me see you three months or two months or six months. It depends on your own situation. Now, then blood pressure machine in the day, it's fine if you really check them for yourself now. Also, you don't need for the check them every week, every day. But I mean, every month or so, you can check your, your regular blood pressure for a week and see you get the average and know how your blood pressure the day. And then keep an eye on your symptoms them, like, oh, don't talk now. So if you notice anything, you alert them. So there is no like uh, time self for Siam um, every day, every other day. But annually, at least if you go, let them go do, if not just blood test check, or then do accurate DP check and it's necessary. 
Okay. okay. Now, regarding the, uh, um, you know, the craniotomy, um, not a single, you say if they back to normal, even even if they make a small cut in your skin, your skin not going to be, even if you healed up, you know, will be normal, like the other make cut back. Okay. So, but you go able, most people in Webu come back to being as closely as normal as possible, provided it, it not be an extensive surgery, if not just a small one, yes, it can be can close. But if it's extensive, remember there are other structures close to it. So complication can be. And the other most compli common complication with this kind of thing, yeah, people need to get, you know, hydrocephalus, the brain, they become swollen and then it can cause delirium, confusion and all the things in there. So after they don't do this procedure, they did not hospital or not, first they're going to ICU, from ICU, intensive care unit, and they monitor you, they take them, make sure say you satisfy your parameters, your breathing, your heartbeat and everything, fine before you go and come down to HDU, right? Mm -hmm. And the eye dependency unit, where not men are two nurses, they look after you. Then make sure say you fine. From there now, then they discharge you, then even give you follow-up and make sure say you fine. For, for say you will be, 100%, you know, there is nothing like 100% after you don't get an episode of something, but it will be as closely as you be the be as before, you know? So if you finna be say, you know, a boxer or whatever, they don't do craniotomy to you, maybe you will get for the think of, you know, another thing for do basically. Okay, right. thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Ture, and thank you very much, Mr. Dabo for your question. Um. I don't know if um, anti aminata they are available, but I will send this question to Dr. Kamara. Um, somebody they ask, say, do you advise if you don't pass 50 years of age, if for if, if, if they carry a spirit in your pocket, any society they go, just in case? Uh, well, thank you very much for that. Uh, as I say, absolutely stupendous presentation. Uh, unfortunately, that big topic and uh, so the, you know, you're not going to do justice uh, as to what you want to do, but that's not for later, but that's a brilliant, you know, overview of what you don't do. Now, aspirin, as you put the question, <laughs> the, the, it's like where they say, uh, because you don't want here, and that's not free tongue, now rest with be so all man for each rest, even if you, your body know for take rest, now na, food they take, that's how it is. Because I don't know if I didn't make sense with that. Aspirin, like any other thing gets in your risk. So if you don't need them, you don't need for carry them at all. Because aspirin, as I say, now anti-inflammatory, it can cause bleeding. Yeah, it can cause irritation of the lining of the bowel and the gullet, and thereby causing like, you know, an ulcer or something. So a lot of things can happen with the aspirin. Therefore, not to all man for take them. So man, they will even get allergy to aspirin, they don't notice and get them. So it's important for no say if you want to take any medication, get guidance from your GP, from your general practitioner. Now you go sit down with you and find out whether an aspirin is the best one for you or not. I know say beaucoup people they say, ah, me for the advice me I take aspirin at the age of 60. Not to for all money they walk home. So you got to understand that. That make you fine for let you walk hand in hand with your GP. Aspirin, obviously, we're not saying a blood thinner. The problem is some man not even understand, say if you take aspirin, you know, team rates on time, you cut, you bang your hand or you cut your hand, uh, even they bleed uh, for five minutes. Now you go for bleed on 10, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, you prepare for that or not? So man go no say, you know, we don't say, hey, wait, bang your hand, the bruise. All of a sudden, it begin bruise. So you have to look at waiting at the, the risks and compare them to the benefits for making able for say, ah, now this is not the thing. But the only person who will guide you on that, now the GP. So I suggest anybody who want for take aspirin, make you go to the GP. I hope so that makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamar. Um, Dr. Tugay, they come back to you because you don't answer the first part of this question. The one about the 91-year-old way um, he developed, say, gibberish speech and he also get weakness now in limb. Now, the follow-on question from that is, say, what if the person didn't ask alone? You know, you don't get access to normal GP. So the person for call their own doctor or emergency service, which you go advise them for doing that tongue. The good thing about this, at least you be the one serve that tongue. So you, so you, you understand the dynamics mm, and the culture. The <laughs> yeah. So um, this is not emergency. What if you normal doctor travel abroad? 
So 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 you get for wait for and take him. No, you get for see the doctor way available. Go to the emergency service and see the doctor with the day. They're equally qualified. They're equally day for um, 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 waiting. If you if you get good close rapport with the doctor, you're able for call on the phone there and then. Maybe if he go able for for advise you, but but waiting that doctor said go one for do for no waiting they do it one he gets a scan. I think you can get CT scan na na, na salon now. So I'll get relatives away. Don't do CT scan you know na salon. So if you something happen go day and go meet the next you know available medical pra- practitioner let them know then they go make a decision waiting for do then for give blood thin in medication or not because if they go give you blood thin in medication okay so let me just take aspirin 300 or let take clopidogrel or their medication and waiting what if not bleeding the bleeding they become more and the brain of the peak of of adult is different from picking Pekin brain they expand. It gets side like if you want to get small pekin, the middle of the pekin, they see up so it can swell. So then it should say the pressure inside on high. So it expand. But the man, the adult young brain, you know, they expand. So the only way when the, the brain they find way for escape of that pressure day. Now underneath the, the skull, you get one opening, you know, then call the forum and magnum. Now they, they they try for pass. And when all the structure they try for go day, the medical time for and they call and cooning. Then that, that, that area, they, they structure the way they, they, they control the heartbeat, they control the breathing rate, they control the eye movement. So all that day, they cause more problem. So regardless of whether you, whether you know the doctor or not, as long as a medical professional, you go to emergency straight away. And the person, if you know it, if you don't know it, if you don't know that you can seek somebody else in help. So no wait till you, your doctor available. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope say Mama Zach, I'm done the answer your question. But if you get any further question or follow-on question from that, please feel free. And um, the other question <laughs> where I get from Fosky, um, uh, nice name. <laughs> he say, um, he say if you get any of the symptoms, them sudden blur, um, sudden serious headaches. So if you don't get NTI in the past, by the time when you get them, you not be seek medical advice. You go advise them for them and contact them GP still? Yeah, if you be, don't get any symptoms and day before it happened, so then until TI you get. Okay, because I mean, I, I don't see a patient, you know, don't if they eating breakfast in the morning, healthy man and everything, they eating breakfast, just they uh a, a, a notice slightly the food way where they eat, it pass now one side, you know, the 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 uh, and porridge where they eat, they, they drip now one side. They want for talk now, you know, saying speech not not very good again. They want for ACN, you know, waiting. Then within one, two hours, it, it, it back on your feet. You know, so I think he call in picking, you know, and the picking say, Oh, daddy, you need to see your doctor, you need to see your GP, you need to, you need to go to the hospital. You say, Oh, I'm fine now, I'm fine. You know, then then you no know, one for go. So it begin push, 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 and say a man live on, on your own. A push push and say so it go then it go na 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 hospital then it go again a drive go you know so <laughs> so I say you know for drive oh, I said no I suppose for drive in fact I get meeting next week I get meeting in the afternoon I need for go that, that so it was a long consultation you know with the man then he said Papa for drive so well if you, if you want for drive a lot develop a lot police or a lot this you know so a one for work and I go na in car then he get another episode. It just collapsed and everything. They got to call ambulance care and go to hospital. So it can be said that ten where you where the thing happened at TIA you don't recover. Okay, you still need for go see your doctor because one they need for listen to your heart, listen to you know the chaotic area. They need for take you now the you know stroke you need. Waiting the stroke you need to all until I be don't mention. Then they do jelly scan of your neck, jelly scan of your heart, and take you your blood for see the chance of you getting clots. So after that, then would they give you, if you're not TI, then would they give you aspirin now or clopidogrel, and then they would do annual review and annual check on you. So yet still, yes, you still need to see you, your doctor. It may not be immediately, but at least within a week or so, you go see Ale, you take the ball rolling. I hope that answered the question. Thank you very much, Dr. Tui. Yeah, um, Mr. Fosky, or oh, I don't know if I'm a man or woman, sorry if I'm a woman. Um, if you, that don't answer your question, please feel free for asking. Again, I'll be seeing people ace their hand up, but I guess maybe they don't answer them, question them. 
Eh, I will bring this up. Let's see. Would I else want to ask a question? Anybody else? Yes, Anne? Can you unmute, please? Yeah. There we go. I used to work on a stroke unit for eight years with stroke patients. I used to work with the physios and the OTs. And when they used to go home, they used to, I used to go with them and they used to show me what they was putting in place and everything. So it was safe actually for the patient. And also if we had patients um, that was in mobile, we used to have pressure me mattresses and they used to wear special like stockings so they didn't get clots and obviously we used to turn them every two hours uh, the physios had worked with them and also I read a book and it was called by David I can't remember his second name and it was after stroke and I actually read this book and because a lot of the relatives was distraught as well as the patient, I used to say to them, if you get this book and read it, this gentleman had had three strokes and he wrote this book and he explained to the family and also to the patient and it made them feel better. It explained and also the communication from the doctors as well. Uh, speaking to the family um, and then we used to have the speech therapy and a lot of them used to have cards and if they wanted to tell you something they'd point to the card but sometimes they'd get frustrated and angry because obviously they just couldn't quite get it to tell you what they wanted and we used to have volunteers that used to come in as well um, and help them do therapy type uh, things with them, you know, trying to make things. Um, so it was very good. I mean, I worked there for eight years on that stroke unit and I loved it. We had all the uh, special training for how to move the patients from the bed to the chair safely. Yeah, and it was that presentation was absolutely excellent. I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting. And my dad had three TIAs. Okay. Um, and one, one night he was upstairs and he'd been up there a long time. And when I went up, dad had had a stroke. And I managed to get him downstairs with the training that I'd done call for the ambulance and when the crew come I actually did my special training and put him in the chair and they says to me how did you know how to do that how do you know your dad's had a stroke so I said I worked on the stroke unit for eight years I suddenly had special training and all the nutrition and everything um, and obviously, obviously the dietitian had come make sure they all had the nutrition and somebody who was on a soft diet, because obviously they had swallowing problems. It was like a, a stage two diet. Um, used to sit there and everything. But I really enjoyed it. But thank you so much. Thank you very much, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to the members of the team, um, um, eh? is it working? I get a world link. Okay. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about Andy later. Don't worry. I'll come to that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will come to, um, I will ask Mr. Ibrahim and Sirugi Leona both rest a little bit on the mental effect of Lentia, just on a high level. Then Ati Fatima will come to you regarding, um, what do you call it, nutrition and stuff, if there's any advice where you can give and stuff like that when it comes to stuff. Yeah. So Mr. Dabo, I'll be seeing you, Anup, you. you still want to ask a question, sir? Yes. Yeah, go ahead, sir. No, now nah, the now nah, just quick one. I don't know if this one now nah, Tim Way will be able to know where the person get that cerebral edema or brain swelling. If you don't look the person get able to know now nah, because where the brain the inside bone, where say the brain the swell now nah, it's called the swell or the brain system and nah, the swell inside. Okay, okay so, I will send that to Doctor Kamal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'll come to you in a bit. Let us come out give a bit of break. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a very good question. I don't know if you don't ever. Um, Take boiled egg, put an you two on them, 
and try for squeeze them and see what you they get. Yeah, absolutely difficult for do that. That's exactly yeah. what they happen to this call. This call na na fixed, uh, um, if you like, structure. As our doctor can just no more. You get baby in your because the bone they not come together yet. Then they actually they expand, and the only way you can tell where the baby in your own uh, brain as well. And when you see that molded, you no know, that 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 soft soft so what they call a weight, that soft spot that the picking head. Now you yeah. can see swell, and that you can know. Mm. But with the adult now, you don't get no weight. So imagine the brain, they get squeezed by the pressure as a result. And as I say, I think they say 80 to 90% of the brain are fat. So imagine you just squeeze that. All you do now for create like porridge. Mm. That is where the problem lies. Now the problem that day. So therefore, you need for try to reduce that pressure. But when the person, they develop, um, as you say, cerebral edema, <laughs> you know, hard for tell. Because clearly that person, they day on the way out. So oh. you, you, yeah, you pray God say that person did not day na host to you. Let don't in the hospital already wait and go try for do something for her. Because cerebral edema, now one old topic we go talk about with the research and dog will do the surgery. But wow. suffice to say that na dangerous thing and they na touch and go. Nobody no go tell you whether that person they go survive or if you survive, they go be a full shilling like I've been there or not. So cerebral edema, na thing way really, really dangerous. Just like I've been say hydrocephalus, na complications, you know. Doc talk about um, coning with that big hole. If you look the matter man's call, you get that big hole at the mm. bottom, whose side the neck they can't join. Yeah. Then they call for amen magnum. Well, now they the spinal cord, they join the brain. So then particular part, they, the end day, now they the center of breathing there. And that part, they rack back out in the center of breathing there. So imagine that part, they, they get squeezed into that hole there. Wow. It become like a hernia. And when you herniate, no more, you go in there, you herniate. Now that, you can't get anything for you for breathe for yourself. And that's where they die, they come out. So it's important for understanding. So you pray God, let us not get cerebral edema. We did not host. We find for later in the hospital, we're going to try to do something for her. Wow. All right. Thank you very much, Uncle Doc. Um, Dr. Tube, anything that you had, Panande? No, oh, I think it's well, well, well explained. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we're going to say, say to you is, you know this year that you call, you know this year because like we doctor don't say, but um, the clinical signs, the way they see, it, they get going to delirium, okay? It, they go into delirium, the breathing rate, they change, okay? The way the eye movement, they change. So when the doctor, they examine you, and they, they see the shine light in the eyes for see how the eye, they move, and I would call the pupils, I they react and they ask you for do certain things like for smile, for look up and all that, for check the nerves them and also for check your orientation. So now then wait and they no more clinically they able for no. Otherwise nothing, you know, you go on for good in our speech to just like our doctor say. Thank you, doc. Thanks very much for that. Thank you very much. Um, so I will come out to Sisigugi. Yeah. You want to give people just some insight into some of the um, psychological things, you know, the mental health side of Yeah. The well, um, yeah, now for, uh, just want to tell Dr. Kama, um, Dr. Tue, thank you very, uh, very much. You know, in as much as no matter what you wish be, when you listen to them, thing, yeah, it make you, you look back and try to change yourself, your own way of life as well. Hopefully, a lot of people are going to do the same, right? Mm -hmm. And where it comes psychologically, as we all know, where any sick where anybody gets. Now, I make a long time ago, nobody put uh, mental health and physical health together. But now mm -hmm. we all do understand for say, if somebody gets a mental um, physical health problem, yeah. mentally, mm -hmm. it will must be affected. Yeah. Because things that don't look out, Dr. Tugay say, things that we be the do to that day, you na Yankee man, you be the do stop. Then all of our Yankee woman or whatever, then all of a sudden, you can you can get stroke or you can't get a physical health problem. The depression only for don't pay you because one day you go just wake normal. You say, Oh my God, how I go go back back from like I go back to how I've been dating that day. You understand? Mm -hmm. That one day they cause a lot of depression. And that depression they, they affect not just the person, but they affect all the family with them because that person they go become very angry, very rude, maybe sometimes. Sometimes now for talk to nobody. Um then nobody, the, you know, even the family, no, 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 for do. So the family themselves mm -hmm. need support because if they self not get that support, they're not able to support that, that person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So the package wouldn't get put, not to just make the call and say the carer instead of need for, they need for assess in your mental health as well so that they don't go know 
waiting himself need for let himself not get a breakdown because if he gets a breakdown then that post where the way go look after where if they look after he not going for look after that post in day so like now two trouble one god now nine go nine look inside so it's a lot of talking it's a lot of support nine the person the person was sick and the person the family around them and the other thing as well sometimes some people then they get the, that depression then are they no more then are us you understand if the staff um, no snow kind of for can care for them. Now they're no more than a host. It's very, very scary. So imagine waiting a person they go, to, go through, waiting mm -hmm. in mind what they go through, you know. So now there are plenty of support denying everybody need them. And the more the eye open away, they listen to them here. So hopefully it will help with like we we able to look after ourselves and take things into 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 effect and practice. So we try for for save ourselves as much as possible. Yeah. Thank you very much, Cecilia. And to the mm -hmm. advice, Mr. Cecilia, they come to Yusuf, but they go to Fatima first. So, you know, uh, Martin Fatima, so waiting at your advice if, because they don't tell you already the kind way how we for look after we say for long or get them. But when we don't get them, is there anything we can do? We can make life a little bit better. So, um, I want to tell thank you to um, Uncle Dr. Ture for in session. Um, my voice, it caught small, so sorry if I'm. My voice sound a bit hoarse. <laughs> um, but <laughs> yes, yeah. um, first of all, um, like Anne Bidon say, when you don't get an, a dietitian, now therefore can for intervene because then they forget a particular way for feed the patient, a particular way where then they for um, manage the medication and the nutrition way, person where don't get stroke, they for um, manage the stroke. Because nutrition more now for preventive method then. So way then um, Uncle Dr. Terrain PowerPoint be the same modifiable uh, team then. I think the way you're able for change. So if you're able for change, you diet first. Now preventive way, now you can make um Makuna not get this disease. So as I'll be done showing up on my PowerPoint, then um, I'll be done do um, some team for cardiovascular disease. So we touch upon the stroke. So we we use the, uh, I'll be used the uh, example of the um, Maasai tribe and the Dinka tribe, na Sudan. So Maasai, Kenya, uh, Dinka, uh, Dinka tribe, na Sudanese. So the Maasai tribe, they eat Boku, um, cholesterol food them. So then they drink even blood and they eat um, high fat milk. And the Dinka tribe from Sudan, then they eat um, more fish, grain them, thin them where they uh, decrease the cholesterol because we, 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 SSF, we the, um, get we own cholesterol in our body. So if when they add more food, then we get high cholesterol, then they know they're able for, you know, um, manage, it go, it go make the thing worse essentially. So what do they recommend? First of all, again, the Pamal way Uncle Dr. Terebi don't touch upon as well. Um, now something where we know they manage well now with community. The overconsumption of the Pamal, we therefore decrease them. So then they're not a normal for people that are here, also people that are alone. Because if you're not they're able to start to change things that are on a diet, now so not go able to manage the disease, and not go able to uh, make it not go worse. Because then they then you know say now dietitian way go therefore um, intervene which could make the thing harder for yeah. to manage okay because you therefore take you you health your mental health you everything into into one the other thing where they recommend um, makuna eat on a very diet so not a normal thing the way on a use. Yeah, rice, 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 rice yes, <laughs> grain them, exactly, <laughs> you know, grains them, lentils, pulses, different beans, then not a normal black eyed beans, when I, when I don't eat for, for, for years, change the thing the way on a, they eat now on a diet, include thing then way when I not eat before, but if I, if you want like a reference food, then way go able for help stroke, um, the locust bean also known as kenda, um, get a lot of vitamin B6 where they're able for control, um, you know, high blood pressure. And mm -hmm. like so, so, hey, Fatima, yes, now you never come on Kenda, eh? yes, Kenda. No I was more than also, there's nothing Kenda can do, <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So then, now then they are going to recommend you now, but of course, <laughs> the time short, so I know one go too into the, yeah, the that, for it. but yes, when I make sure now the preventant, so prevention better than cure. And um, yes, and of course, any other thing, once you don't get something like a, a, a disease, now dietitian, now they for consult. 
So thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much, Adi Fatima. So me fumble them, most one could do something ever can visit you. So if I begin visit you going forward, you smell anything, no ask me on Adi Fatima, no <laughs> advise me. All right. <laughs> Is that what you say? Is that what you say? Yes, sir. So, what do you take from a mental health perspective as well? And also, if you get any advice as to whether there's anything social services can do as well for helping people in day, good day in in their position in day, please feel free for give people the advice, please. Okay. Um. First of all, thank you very much, Doctor Three, for such a wonderful uh, you know session, and uh, obviously, for Fatima in contribution okay. and 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 Rugi as well. Okay. Fast, yeah. Talk loud a bit. Yeah, you're leaving now. You're <laughs> leaving now. Better. Okay. Um, what I would say was obviously like a way a uh, doctor tried to to explain like uh, what we social service can do. We can get and you can get a session of like reopen session when I like a, up to six weeks. We then discharge you from more hospital. We're gonna house for so see how you manage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Within that six weeks, they they work on two things then. First of all, that person they go help you. Obviously, you know they pay them, like the council will pay them. You know they only go for help you, but at the same time, go for look at assess you and see how you manage the house. If you come back and tell we say, oh, I think say, this person here is really struggle and not really fully recovered after in six weeks, we then use that period there as a point to say, okay, perhaps you need to forget somebody for assist you. If, as Dr. Trader said, they say, if your income is there below 23,000, obviously, we do what you call a financial assessment. For check how much contribution you could make towards your care. Okay. But some families in there, some families they will talk to who can actually look. You can, act, you can request for what you call a CHC uh, care assessment. When I when I fully funded by the NHS. Okay. If you ask for a name that assessment, day, if you if you qualify, say yes, in order for pay anything at all, fully that the NHS will pay for all that care. But if you're not fully qualified, they would get what they call FMC. When a pathway, the, 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 the NHS they pay and, and have a, a, a payments that the, the local authority they pay for that because you qualify for that. But if you don't qualify for none at all, obviously they get to do what they call a defer payment. They will actually, well, okay, at the moment, suicide is right now, you don't qualify for any of them here. So we will continue for, 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 for support you, but you need to pay this, them, them payment here. Perhaps now a later date you can pay at a later date. They could make that arrangement day. But it's very important for let you talk to somebody where you get into here, especially if you get any somebody in your family, say, oh look, then see how they happen now. I know say one thing I've not mentioned sure this communication is very, very important. Wake up parents here. Mm -hmm. Loudly communicate to yourself. Because if me they okay, if me uh, unfortunately I get struck by stroke now, I don't communicate to anything to my family, nobody knows what's going to go wrong with me. Nobody know what he actually be done plan or what he do, what he uh, do for do. So that will make it very difficult. I don't know what I say. I don't say. I don't uh, talk about the session where uh, I do assessment on a person. Obviously, because of obviously that person don't lack capacity, you never communicate any longer. So not in the way the family understand what the person. So I'm going to make a very difficult decision then, where I find I find myself in a very comfortable uncomfortable situation. So then see it's very, very important to learn for the communicate. Learn for telling the person how you yeah. live your life, what is wrong with you. So let them know exactly, say, what's something happened to you? And then plan say you want in place for support you while you're going through it here. You need for the Lord learn for the communicate to yourself. Yeah. And not me say, say like your brother or sister, but at least somebody will be very close to you. Yeah. Let them know what's happened to you. It's very important. So it's, it's, yeah. Thank you very and, much. And the other thing I just want to emphasize on again, we, we, we will all talk on there. That, 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 that communication within the family, not only our wife and again, the mental aspect of it. Imagine you say, you don't, do, you don't do things all along for yourself independently. All of a sudden, you get struck by this uh, illness where you never do anything anymore. That is stressful. And then it, it, it affects the whole family. Yeah, so it's very good for all to communicate. I pass it back on to Mr. TJ. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Mr. TJ. So me fan bullet on don't yagi waiting the call stroke. On don't yagi waiting at the good and bad habits them way we for the one the good one they will for keep, the bad one they will for try for reduce or left. We'll also find out the way how we will live a healthy lifestyle, we will avoid dentia. But we also don't learn as well if you get a how for manager. Now this country, if we open remote and talk, 
help and support day, you know. But if we decide for keep quiet, we feel shame because some of we Africans will not let talk. And that make but cutting the way we will suffer from we unnecessary. Now, for me, family, where they back home, they are within tear happen. Just think about it. If now you be in that position, they were like me, I don't use for doing anything by myself. For my small, then maybe my people don't say I like for be independent, I like do things on my own. All of a sudden, I can't find myself in that position where I'm able to do something. It will be frustrating. I'm yeah. not going to let anybody there. I mean, I'm not going to let there around myself. You know, but we're going to understand, see, that person, they say, in all lack for car, ask for help. But yeah. it didn't have a position who say vulnerable. So we self try for make it easier for that person. They not make a difficulty. Ah, you tell me they work and I see what they do now. You, we, we don't there and now. This I will show you. Law will show that empathy. Law will try mm. for help one another. So now we don't done for today. I don't even tip three minutes. So I can't tip another three minutes for let the panel say goodbye. Then we will see you again next week. So I will start with Uncle Doc, then Fatima. Then world link when I see you be. Let me start to say. Then I'll go to Dr. Turi. I don't know if anybody, because I guess it has been joined by, by they say in network issues. So Uncle Doc, they are saying final words to the people then please not round up. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I mean, as I say, Doc, do a tremendous job here. Absolutely superb presentation. As I say, sometimes some people are able to appreciate the, 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 the magnitude of this talk. Uh, as I put it at the talk, I say, if you not affect you directly, so it will affect somebody where you know. And it's very, very important for Nose. Mm -hmm. When we all did together, we all communicate, we all come together, we get a lot more support, a lot more cohesion, a lot more dynamics. And that is the essence of being together. That's why we're doing this now, that big to do this thing. So, uh, as I say, when I send the word out as, as best as possible, I'm so pleased that the word they go around, that we get clinicians them, we actually want for join with because yeah. of the success of which we don't make So thank you so much, Doc. And without you now, the audience, we can't do this with you today. I'm so proud that I get two people away join. If I three people away join me today, uh, one uh, a medical student way almost the end now in, in medical training in Bulgaria, you know, one uh, Rashid Conte, you know, and then of course we get another uh, clinician with the Germany, uh, with uh, Dr. Christian Bell in a gynecologist. And we got a third person where uh, now if a former nurse, now free tongue, uh, Dr. Ansu Conte, David Ansu Conte, we may be in the Russia together, uh, in now get more into the uh, managerial and management side of things, you know, in the, in the NHS. But clearly it goes to show say, when you do something good and you believe in them, it nice will make you be steadfast, committed and dedicated. It's not easy. It's definitely difficult because we take good time, we take good energy, and all that for try to get people to understand that. So we did depend on Una for send this word across. But this topic so big that perhaps we get for divide down to two and talk about the other side because all what we do now today, we just touch on this the outskirts. The thing for do with picking them, I should say dog no say in far more detail because we know if we do what you want for do it. So bring me now other subject than the other topic that we will talk about. Again, the mental health side, the clinical uh, pharmacology side of things, and of course, the nutritional side of things. All that they the, the sub subject them of all this particular important topic. So I think so now all who agree with me say, Doc deserve a round of applause and thank you very much to now all who attend. And we hope so this thing will go far and wide. And remember, well body, now in better past gentry. Not so far in silence, join we all and we all will get this thing together. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you very much, Uncle Doc. Auntie Fatima, be class for all people in this. Yes, so thank you now all for uh, when I come for listening to uh, the talk. I hope say um, when I get something for uh, this talk. Um, but yeah, when I thank you now all, thank you all and also Uncle Doc, to rain, clap, 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 well done for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, world links, Sugi. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, I yeah, just want to say thank you to everybody, Dr. Ture, and everybody who don't contribute, and to Anne as well. Thank you to Anne and the husband for joining us as well. And um, thank we you. appreciate thank it very you. well for you giving us your um, sort of side of things as well. And um, it helps for people to know that it's not just black people that are having issues, white people are having the same issues as well, so that uh, it makes it easier for people to understand that it's a worldwide thing, whatever is happening, whatever mm -hmm. is going on, it's a worldwide thing. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to tell you all, thank you for going to attend and the information we'll get there, so it's very, very valuable. 
you know, I did for as I say every day and any time I talk come for any time where we talk then things here so where I remember my country where my hands then tied for we not able for support or for help family them or we country in the monami all the time because it takes me back not just here because there's we've got it all here but over yonder we not get we don't have it so that struggle the people that they struggle yeah. that that where they're not able for access nothing for let life easier for them. It they worry me, they mourn me. But thank you, and we hope say as we go along, then thing so somebody out there will bring. We all come back together so that we go for support we country as much as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, Mr. Cisse. Yes, um, thank you very much. I want to say obviously once more again to Dr. Ture. Thank you very much for such a wonderful presentation, and the participants that we come are welcome to all. And I hope say when we will come back, you know, I know we will continue to make the number even bigger than what we do so today. And 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 uh, your husband, thank you very much. I mean, you've been with us all thank this while, and obviously, and I, 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 can't, I can't express how much I appreciate uh, you know your, your time you're spending with us. And I mean, uh, then here, obviously, you know, the benefit of it is countless. They are big for people and they are lot of attending sessions here. And we wouldn't at the UK and I have, please, 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 whether it here happen to you or anybody way close to you, contact the local authority. Contact them, uh, if you listen, obviously, the, the number the way Dr. Ture put up now, if somebody don't pick them up at all, they contact me again, we'll give the number them back again. Please, please, then tear is very important because now not one person, but the individual member affect, they affect the whole family. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of support out there. Please make sure you make use of them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. And Dr. Tsuye, you. your last word, please, for people there. Okay, so thanks everyone for the contribution and for you know the mm -hmm. um, I mean applause for listening to we. Uh, I want to um, say to people and say, okay, we talk about people in back home, even people in we stay here in the UK, no, they seek medical help. Okay. And when they get in symptoms there, then they try for, for, for just waver off and don't do a very good explanation of waiting and they do a stroke unit. You know, change in person, change in position for avoid pressure sores. And that pressure source can end up cause more people learn, then they get mm -hmm. continent, incontinence, and all in the problems in there. So um, thanks to Anne, you know, and Osman for that you, very good explicit, explicit explanation. So you not just say somebody in a developing world or whatever, even people in the UK here, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, um, people of minority or even, even white people, know they seek medical help until when this thing come. You know, when this thing comes, some some then they get medical problems, they say for even take medication. Say, okay, you got high blood pressure, take this medication. Oh, I don't want to take it, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm that. Mm -hmm. You know, high blood pressure, you know, they know that it's slow killer until it comes like this. You see, so people learn for seek medical help. Prevention mm -hmm. is far, far more better than cure. We don't talk about this all over. Mm -hmm. So Love with the change your lifestyle. If you know somebody, we're not listening to this program, you're able to download them, you show them, that will be fine. Let people are safe, they safe go, go benefit. If they benefit out of them, it will benefit everybody. So I thank everybody for listening to we, and we hope soon I will come back and listen in the next two weeks for the next subsequent sessions. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Ture. That was a thank wonderful, you very much. really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks. Your last thank word. Now look after we self. Now we take Kenda, and I will see you all again. <laughs> <Next time. laughs> <laughs> prepare, prepare for the Bye after everybody. Yes. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.